Hey guys, welcome back. So, last video we talked about decoders, and we built um, just kind of one-dimensional decoders, and the fact that, um, that basically you, you entered one binary value, and uh, one output came on, and it, they were kind of in a line, all the outputs were in a line from each other. So now what we're going to do is we're going to combine the fact that we can use one vertical one and one horizontal one to make something called a matrix decoder, and that's going to allow us to decode um, exponentially more outputs. So for instance, if you have two 4-bit decoders and you want an 8-bit decoder, you don't need to build an 8-bit decoder. You just take your two 4-bit decoders and um, make a matrix decoder out of them, and you have then 256 outputs. This is also how screens are done, because screens, when they address pixels, are done the same way. And uh, because obviously you have an X and Y address, and it selects where in a grid it's going to light up. So we're basically taking a one-dimensional thing, taking two one-dimensional things, and turning it into a two-dimensional thing. I have to accept this guy. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a two one-dimensional decoders and turn it into a two-dimensional decoder that has uh, n squared amount of outputs. So if you give it two four-bit decoders, you're going to have um, you're going to have uh, an eight-bit decoder out of that. Basically, you're going to square the amount of outputs. So if you had like a, a, a four-bit decoder, has 16 outputs, you square that, you get 256 outputs. That's what I mean. Uh, so what also I'm going to show you after this is we're going to then the first way of doing this is going to be like the newbie way of just doing it for like a screen. The second way of doing this is going to be like the more advanced method that allows you to have basically infinite amount of XY decoders hooked up to a screen to a single screen. So if you wanted to light up two pixels at a time or three or four, you could do that and just stack these modules behind each other. So, but first I just want to build it and get the concept and then show you the advanced design after. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So if you watched the tutorial last week, we're going to use this vertical one. Well, vertical to horizontal. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy from the zeroth position here, and it looks like we synced it, which is nice. Copy. And I'm just going to get some space to work, so I'm going to do this over here. Turn down my renders distance a few. You don't see everything off of the distance. Okay, so we have that there. So what we're gonna want out of this is basically a staircase up like this. Where this is then going to power up Yeah, like this. And it's gonna be able to power into That's not correct, right? It needs to come over one more and then up. Yeah. Like that. There we go. So now you'll see if we do position one there, position two there, we'll do slash slash expand one. Whoops, I put a slash in, or a comma or whatever. And now we'll do expand one this way. And now we'll stack this 15 times. Stack. Okay. So now all we can have to do is just like update the redstone, which is just easy to do with just updating the top line and it'll update. And now you'll see that all the torches are off except for this column. Okay. So now what we're going to do is realize that we should make this like this. So I'm going to expand one and then restack and then re-update this okay so now what you notice is we're going to have to put a repeater like this right here because on this line now it's going to be the other decoder so now we're going to go grab the vertical one we're going to grab this decoder Position two, and we're gonna copy it from I guess right here. Copy. Which 
means we can do... Well, we can move it out a bit. I'll do this. Doesn't need to be right on top. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens if we paste it in here. Paste minus A. Minus A paste without the air, so nothing overrides. And actually, yeah, nothing... Uh, well, well, we'll do this for now. Yeah, we'll leave it at this. And we'll do that. Okay, so this is the gist of what we're going to do. So now we can just stack this upwards. So if we do position one there, position two there, expand one that way to grab the torches. Now all I have to do is stack it up. So first I'm going to turn off this. Stack 15. And now all we have to do is update the most significant bit. Turn it off. Boom. We have just built our matrix decoder. So what we did is we took two 4-bit decoders and now we have an 8-bit decoder. You can see we took two um, a a single uh, uh, axis decoders and turned it into a two-dimensional thing. So a single dimensional, two single dimensional into a two-dimensional thing. So now you can see the way this works is it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, what, yada, yada, 15. Then this next one will be 16, which makes this 31. This makes this 24, 32, yada, 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 all the way up until all the way up in this corner is 256. So how do we in how do we combine these but these buses into a single bus or these bits into a single value? Because I told you it's just basically one giant decoder. So we're gonna make this the least significant bit. One, two, three, four. And then it's gonna go five. Oh no, shoot, it's gonna go five, six, maybe this will fit. Yep, seven. And then I can do this. So, oh yeah, we can do this. Oh no, it's got to go down. Shoot. Okay. Oh, that'll work. Nice. Okay. So now, if I place redstone on all of these, this is just to get it all onto a single, like one eight bit va value that's just vertically bust. And then we can put levers here. Okay, so now we can uh, connect this all the way over. Now I'm not really going to worry about syncing anything right now, I just want to get the concept here. So I'll just stack three. And stack three. Okay. So here it is. So now if I put in zero, that's the zeroth one. If I put in eight, we get the eighth one there. You see no other torches light up. If I put in 15, you see it goes all the way to the edge. Okay, so if I turn this off, and I say we're at 16, it goes up one. So if I want to go up, I just use these upper, ooh, that's a new, oh. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so yeah, we f I forgot to stack this here. Um, so let's turn all these to zeros, sorry. Um, so we just have to do position one, position two, make that position two. Yeah, stack 15, expand 31, expand one. Stack 15. And then we just update this most significant bit line. I didn't do it. Uh oh. I'll do this. Uh, 
Okay. So now if we enter that, it went up a line. You do that, it should go up two lines. Hmm. Oh, okay, so now we gotta get the signal strength to reach, yeah, duh. So now we're gonna do this. You see it gets one signal strength there, so we can do that. But that means it's not gonna reach that one, so we have to break that block and do that. And then we know if we power into that, let's see how far it'll go, it won't reach all the way again. We're gonna do that. Now it reaches all the way. Okay, so now what we can do is expand two. And then stack 15 again. And then just like That didn't update anything. Wow, okay. I guess it's just easier to break the blocks by hand. Okay. There we go, so now that's off. And then uh, if you put in 15 here, it'll go to the topmost one. And then you can move over in the X position by doing this. So what you just realized now is um, if I get some pink. Two, three, four, right there. So this is the halfway point. So below is in the X and the top is in the Y. So if I want to say um, X position 6, Y position uh, 12, something like that. So now we're in the 6th position in the X, the 12th position up in the, y, in the Y. You know that we're in 12 because we go 13, 14, 15. You, need, you know it's 0 through 15 for a 16 by 16 screen or an XY decoder. Okay, but so now this is like the basic newbie way of doing it because you just have outputs here, but you can only hook up one XY decoder to a screen because now here this goes to like your screen memory or whatever that then goes to your display. What if there is a way to make it um, so you can pass like as many values through while still having XY decoders? And that's what I'm about to show you next.